Hey everyone, welcome back to part 2 of Kobold Berserker or Kobe. We are currently on day 11 of our second attempt. The first one met a pretty quick demise. Uh, on this one we've made it to day 11. We're going to do this floor, then we're going to head into Lair. And yeah, that's probably about it for update. Um, as far as our training goes, oh, our evocation is already finished. Okay, so we we very quickly trained our short blades up to 10, which was the min delay for a dagger. We trained our evocations to 10, and now we're just training fighting and dodging. Um, is that what we actually want to do? We have, as far as wands go, 7 clouds, 8 ice blasts, 6 paralysis. Um, because we don't really have more offense to train, maybe we should just keep going with evocations. We're going to have higher skill evocations, which is not like me. Let's take that to 14. Um, let's focus fighting. And because I like to have more skills than fewer, let's also turn on armor at this point. Um, we're still in a relatively light one with a ring mail, but um, at some point in the future, we'd like to be heavier. So it doesn't hurt us too much to get going on that. Here's a two-headed ogre. Um, that's probably one I don't want to berserk. I wonder if we can... We have a 55% chance to paralyze him. Um, it's a pretty... Hmm, it's a pretty valuable thing to use though. We only have 6 charges. Okay, what if we kite him a bit? Okay. We'll see how much damage we can do to him with this poison. Maybe we can berserk him because he won't have much HP left. Okay, he's nearly dead. Uh, he's half HP. He could probably two-shot us. Um, but we'll be fast when we're berserk. So what if I go closer to the stairs? And then if he hits us, we can quickly run to it and go back up. So now we're going to berserk. We're going to do it slowly in case we lose most of our HP in a single swing. Alright, we've got him. Okay, thank you to the blowgun there. Uh, it's a bunch of different kobolds. That one has a minus two dagger. We're gonna kite them all the way back. Um, we've learnt it's a long season, so you don't need to rush things. Um, oh, I'm really testing my knowledge here. Uh, 80, 82 games in a season, maybe uh, for the regular season. Anyway, uh, we just got another five ice blast charges, which is nice. Um, all the more reason to keep training evocations. Um, unknown scroll, let's keep going. It's immolation. Uh, this is a ghost fault. Um, I don't like it as much when they're fake ghosts because it's seated and these aren't real players. But what is that? It's a deep door fighter of McLeb. Um, but we really don't want anything to do with this vault. Um, a scimitar of chaos or any chaos weapon which is in these vaults is really dangerous because they can paralyze and or abyss you which would very likely kill us because what is... I can't look right now okay, this ghost does 16 damage, it's not that much but still if we got paralyzed and he is wailing on us with 16 damage attacks while we're also then just dying to the, the weapon uh, it wouldn't be a good time. Uh, a brand weapon scroll. Well, this dagger of protection, I feel like that's the one we roll with, and we hope that we can get a lack out of it. Some argument to be made, I should try the falchion, but no, let's, let's hope for an elect dagger. It's flaming, okay. Not exciting. That is a gargoyle. That's really scary. Okay, let's, um, let's do Trog's hand. Um, the Gargoyle has really high AC, and we have Daggers and Venom, which he's immune to. Um, we have a 50% Paralysis chance. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. All right. We got out of that one easy. I was thinking we might have to just uh, wield the Dagger of Flaming and try to Berserk him, but that, that would have been a, quite a scary fight. Two-headed Ogre again. Uh, fortunately, we're again far away, so we can probably Blowgun him a bit. Yeah, I don't want him to get adjacent to us. Huh. 
Um, another trick I can do is try to swing at him once, get him poisoned, and then just kite. Oh, I messed up stepping around the corner there. Yeah, he's going to get adjacent to us. Alright. Oh, I did no damage. I just need one more. Oh, there we go. Got him. One. Poison and Kite is pretty strong. Uh, another enchant weapon, we're still holding those. A new wand, that's Polymorph. Okay, that's a Hex wand. Um, pretty useful at this point in the game. We've only got five Paralysis, so uh, it's a good one to carry around. Uh, a troll. I think if we berserk, we should be fine against a troll. Again, we didn't get the the body armor. Uh, killer bees. Okay, um, our dagger is really good against these guys because they're susceptible to poison. We also have four potions of lignification, so that would uh, give us our poison. Um, yeah, I think I think we just quaff that. I was going to say we could also just trog's hand to get extra HP regeneration. But I think we become a tree, we get our poison, we just need to um, tap these guys with this dagger and then they'll die. Um, if there had been more space and they were more in the open, we potentially could have used Ice Blast against them. That's a really powerful... Oh, I see a crossbow. Um, that's a really powerful uh, thing against them because the bees are flimsy but highly evasive and Ice Blast can't miss. Um, I am afraid of this. I want to paralyze them. Yeah, that worked. Okay, let's go again. This is really scary, actually. Okay, what do I have if he hits us for most of our HP? We've got Fear Scrolls. Okay, we might have to use all our paralysis here. There we go. Um, I guess there was some argument that I could have just used a, a cloud blast against those, but yeah, um, an, an ugly thing on D11 is really scary, let alone two of them at once. Alright, so here's a hand crossbow. We talked before about how um, kobolds have a plus two crossbow aptitude. We've also talked about how we don't have any more offense to train, so I feel like it's a pretty easy decision to say that we should be training some hand crossbow here. Um, it only requires 12 skill, I think. Only 10 skill for Mindelay. That's pretty good at a plus 2 aptitude. Alright, so let's say evocations will go to 12, not 14. Um, let's take armor to maybe... S say it to 5 for the moment. Um, we'll keep focusing fighting, but we'll also focus crossbows up to 10. Okay, and I'm going to set that on B. So, or equals I, the crossbow can be on B, so we can easily switch between ranged and dagger with apostrophe, and in fact I'm going to do it the other way around, I'm going to make the hand crossbow A, because that should be our default one, because we can shoot things from range, and then when they get near us, then we can use the dagger. Okay, the thing to note though, is because we don't have much training, oh, let me show it to you. Okay, look in the top right hand corner in uh, parentheses here, next to time, is 1.4. That's how long it's taking us to shoot a crossbow bolt with this much training. Um, so that's a long time. If there's a monster near us, they can move and swing, or if they're next to us, they could potentially swing twice. So we have to be a bit careful of that. Um, I think this does 1.0 at Mindalay? Yeah, 1.0. So it will be acceptable later on. Or it's safer, but not at the moment. It's saying there are items we can't reach. Oh, it's in the ghost vault. Okay, all right, time to go to the lair then. All right. Uh, oh, a rapier. Um, I wish we had found that before uh, we used the brand weapon scroll. And then I remember we have two more of them. Oh, we can also just brand weapon our hand crossbow. Right, we had a stack of three. That's crazy. All right. Um. Hell yeah, we should brand weapon our hand crossbow. It's flaming. All right, and I think... Should I wait on the last one? Maybe I'll wait. So, um, a rapier is the biggest short blade. So, um, as in highest uh, base damage. And 
requires the most training, so it needs 14 short blade skill. Um, that's a perfectly acceptable weapon to finish the game with. Um, even against orbs of fire, you might need a, a might potion, say, but you can kill orbs of fire with rapiers. So if we had a good rapier we, and hand crossbow, we wouldn't need to worry about um, long blades, cross training, and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, maybe that brand weapon, but I think we can wait because the thing is, Trog's going to start gifting us weapons eventually, um, and we don't need a rapier here and now in the short term. So I think we can hold off. We can see if maybe Trog's gonna gift us a rapier that's already branded. Um, and if he does, then we can save this one. And then maybe I should enchant weapon my hand crossbow. I could have a plus two hand crossbow of flaming. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that. Uh, second ring. Oh, third ring for Kobe. <laughs> okay, well one's int. Uh, we already have a massive um, basketball IQ, so we don't need extra int. Uh, here's a protection from magic ring. Also not not really needed with Trog, but um, I'll take it. Uh, some more bolts. Um, that's another thing that Trog is going to gift us um, because he's an ammunition gifting god too, like a Hawaru. Um, he's going to gift us ammo. So we don't need to worry about running out of crossbow bolts. Uh, potions of Berserk Rage. Don't really need those Isla unless we get silenced. Right, cool. Uh, we've got another ring. Uh, we'll do this instead of C Invis. Yeah, okay, it's protection from cold. Um, that's more useful to have here. Oh, okay, never mind. I lied. <laughs> because Erica immediately went Invis. Okay, um, well, the first thing I want to do. No, oh, he doesn't know. Okay, question mark forward slash M for monster lookup and then Erica. Uh, the first thing to note is she has a 20% confused chance or a 20% slow chance. So before anything else, I want to do Trog's hand so that we're then not going to be Hex. And then we can change back to the seat invis. Um, and then... Um, we could just Polymorph her with an almost 40% chance, which is pretty good because she has a relatively high magic resistance. Not usually easy to Hex. Um, we could also just Ice Blast her a couple of times. Oh yeah, look at this Ice Blast go. She's getting wrecked. Okay, well she's nearly dead already, and then we'll just berserk, should be able to take her out from there. Cool. Uh, scimitar of Flaming, um, a good long blade for chopping off Hydra heads, but the thing is I don't want to be fighting Hydras as a Kobold with this low HP. Um, I'm just going to randomly die to this water, McCassin, apparently. Alright, I'll lose the poison, I'll use a curing, we've got seven of those. Um, I potentially could have just Trog's hand to up our HP regen. Um, what's better? Probably the Dagger of Flaming. And go Berserk. The Spiny Frogs are uh, poison resistant. And then we still lost half our HP. And another one. Okay, I should not be doing that. These guys are fast too, so it's it's a really, really bad idea to be um, shooting crossbow bolts where they take 1.4. Um, Alright, let's put Trog's hand on, and then I think go berserk. Okay, I made some boneheaded plays in that fight. Yeah, yeah, the, the crossbow at point blank range at 1.4 speed against a spiny frog when we're mostly dead is a really, really dumb play. I should not have done that. Wait, do we have macros? Let me clear some. From my last game. Okay, I'm going to make a macro. Um, I'm doing this with tilde M uh, for F dot. No, 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 sorry. Uh, for F dot, which I can press to shoot on the exact tile that an enemy is on. I'll show you in a second. Uh, Kobe is really stacking up rings here. <laughs> Man, we, we really struggle with these, um, our poison enemies. All right. Uh, 
What's a cursed teleportation here? Let's let's ditch that. Okay, so if you press tab when you have a ranged weapon, if you miss it, um, your your thing will continue shooting into the distance past it. If there's something like deep water or lava behind you, you potentially lose your ammo. Whereas if you press F dot, you're shooting the exact same tile, or you're shooting at the exact tile that you specify. Um, so that's what I put on the macro. So now I can just press that instead of having to do F dot, and I'll shoot at that exact tile. Okay, let's just go berserk because. Oops. Yeah, there we go. Because uh, these guys seem difficult. More strength. Cool. More hill wins. Uh, we can take two of these guys up at once. There's no great choke point there. Oh, yeah. here's one. Alright. Let's pick a new stair. Kind of. I don't know. We're getting a bit swarmed by yaks at that last one. Uh, plus two strength. Um, sure, that's like having a little bit of extra sling. Let's wear that. At all times. I mean, it's not real exciting, um, but it's sort of better than having protection from cold at all times, which we don't really need. Oh, this is going to be scary. Uh, the good thing about uh, let's put on Trog's hand because Blink Frogs are actually quite threatening. Uh, but the good thing about having a Venom weapon is because they blink away, um, they get pretty owned by damage over time. And if you shoot an Ice Blast, we can hit two at once. Because as you can see, they do a lot of damage. So I can imagine us dying to that if we get unlucky. New ones, that's a flame wand. Um, this guy, we should be shooting with a bit of um, blowgun. Okay, it didn't, it didn't really do much. Oh. Well. All right, so we're using the choke point here to make sure we're fighting one en one enemy at a time. <laughs> Getting mixed up with all my different weapons. <laughs> I'm rusty. Oh, there's a buckler. Uh, we should probably have a buckler. Um, so, because we're small, we have to train more to use it, uh, but it still only requires 5.6 skill. And because we're not, we're not able to use the biggest double-handed weapons anyway, because we're a kobold, um, I think we're, we're happy having a, a shield. And also, we're never casting spells, so it's just better defense. So I'm going to press S for skill, to set our skill target at 5.6. We're going to wear the buckler. Um, and do I want to focus it? Man, we're training everything so quickly. Our crossbows are halfway to 10 already. Um, yeah, let's focus shields. Let's have a million skills at once. Our armor's at 4.0. I'm going to turn that one off. 4.0. Um, that's a nice round number. We'll, we'll train that later. We're not in a hurry for armor. Um, here's the rhyme drake. Okay, let's put our protection from cold on. Good. Yeah, that is the one cold enemy that is common to Lair. But it's a quick action to change rings. So, uh, not too bothered if we see one. It doesn't take very long to put the cold resistance ring on. Rupert. Um, okay. He has a 32% chance to paralyze us. So as much as I would love to go back upstairs right now, I think we should Trog's hand first. So then it's only it's a 0% chance to paralyze us, so then it's safe to go up. And you know what? Because we can maybe just cheese him with a polymorph one. Oh, it's only 12% chance. Okay, he has a really high MR. Well, why don't we just roll a clouds? Maybe we'll get lucky and we can just kill him like this. He's gone berserk. 
and he has a he has a plus three greatsword. That's gonna really hurt. Um, no, I don't want to mess with him and a blink frog. Okay, so we need to be careful of him. Uh, oh no, elephants. I was about to say, we're about to get trampled off the stairs. I should not have let that one. I should not have even tried to um, bring that guy back upstairs. Okay. Um, oh, well, the Basilisk has been really clever. He's got a 13% chance to petrify us, which is unlikely. But if we got petrified, we could die. So we're going to Trog's hand again. Just so we don't do that, and then we're gonna kill him to get him out of the way. Except he's killing us. Oh, why did why did I berserk? We can't fight this many elephants. Oh no. Okay, we're in trouble. I made a really dumb play there. All right, when we come out of the paralysis, uh, when we come out of the berserk, as long as we don't get paralyzed, we'll probably have to uh, read a scroll of fear. Okay, fortunately with Trog, part of what he does is extend your Berserk duration. So it's not running out, but we are just dying. Okay, I, I actually, we might just die because we're going to be slowed and the elephant's going to hit us at the end. And we're going to lose HP when we come out of Paralysis. Um, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking. I was like, oh, we need to kill the Basilisk, I'll just go Berserk. But I didn't actually think about it, which when I went Berserk, we were then committing to fighting the whole elephant. Um, pack at once, which as you can see we were never going to succeed at um, We're too far away from the stairs for me to be able to run so I'm just gonna have to keep swinging and hope that we don't die Although we got some space on this guy. Let's run. Okay. We get slowed. So we got a we got a bit of time here where um, I could just read the fear, but if that fails He could step up to us and just kill us. So I think I'm gonna heal wounds first he gives us a bit more HP and now we can fear it. See, it failed. That's what that's what I was worried about um, on the first one. Although, can we just paralyze him with our last chance? 40%, it's not good. Um, I'm just gonna fear him again. Okay, thank you. All right, that was um, really, really boneheaded. So, uh, we almost died there just because I turned my brain off. Don't, don't turn your brain off. It's a... Uh, you gotta play smart uh, all. I was gonna say 90 minutes, but that's not right. That's um, what's 90 minutes? That's a that's a soccer game. You gotta play hard all 48 minutes. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, whatever. Okay, let's let's not do that again. That was re a really really dumb berserk. So yeah, that's. That's the thing about Berserk, once you Berserk, you're committing to fighting um, to the death, more or less. So if it's a situation where you shouldn't be making a final stand, well, you shouldn't be doing it. I'm going to die to these blink frogs. Dudes, so let's go Berserk here. They're both nearly dead and poisoned. We're sort of we're floating on the edge of four pips of piety. When we're there, it's better because we can call in reinforcements with brother in arms, which would potentially be a way to kill Rupert. Um, I'm gonna leave my protection from magic on because um, if we see Rupert, we don't want to get insta paralyzed before we even have a chance to Trog's hand. There he is. He didn't see us though. How are we gonna kill him? Okay, Trog's hand. Um, well, we can ice blast him. Let's try clouds again. He's a really dangerous enemy. He's worth just using our clouds on. Okay, yeah, we froze him. So we're gonna keep ice blasting him. He went invis. He had a potion of invis. That's okay. Ice blast can't miss, and he's still standing in the clouds. Yeah. Okay. So we went down. Man, that was a a rough Rupert, an invisible Rupert. He's scary enough just on his own. Water McCassin will not die. Um, we got a uh, spider's nest there. I should be careful here because we don't have any fire resistance. Which reminds me, if we ever get fire resistance, yell at me to go do that vault. Uh, 
Um, are they... They are immune to poison, but also immune to fire, so none of my weapons do anything to them. I think we're okay with this as long as there's not like a fire dragon sitting in the middle here somewhere. Oh, a salamander. Um, well, that's scary. Salamander's really hurt. Um, he's susceptible to cold, so an ice blast one will own him pretty hard. Um, Hmm. See, he hits for 17 plus the halberd plus an extra 16 fire damage. So without any RF, he's quite a dangerous enemy to fight. And he's also got a pole arm, so it makes him even more dangerous. Oh, this is a huge fire area. I just realized now, because I was doing it with auto explore. This thing goes forever. Uh, he's going to run through the lava. That's not fair. He's faster than us. He cheated. Okay, this gives us a chance to go berserk before he steps around. I'm gonna do brother and arm. Um, sorry, Chuck's hand, and we're just gonna berserk him. I think we should win that fight. He does hurt though. The spiny frog's stuck in the thing. He came out. Um, that's another trick. We can. Um, we can kite enemies. Oh, Gastronaut. Okay. With a hat of magic resistance. It's a nice hat, but that's... I'm going to have to take it from him. Uh, we can kite enemies through these webs, and when they get stuck, we can stab them. Okay, uh, Gastronaut, the... Extremely scary thing about him is that he can do 50 damage airstrike and we only have 87 max HP So he can very comfortably two shot us so uh, Unless we're meeting him at the edge of the screen uh, That's a worry uh, we found a new amulet which we're going to try on uh, An amulet of the acrobat. Okay, that's nice. Um gives us a lot more evasion when we're moving um, although it doesn't help us from airstrike because airstrike can't be dodged. So it doesn't help us against gastronaut, but it helps us against these random bats and a lot of other enemies. Yes, yeah, so if we're just walking around, we have 37 evasion. That's pretty absurd. Uh, for the eel, we have Arulak on our armor, so I'll just walk up and hit him. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of scared on this floor. I don't want to... I don't want to die randomly to Gastronaut Airstrike. Right, but we, we can cheese him as long as we don't meet him nearby. This is three fire bats at once. Apparently we're okay. Oh, an ant vault. Okay, uh, well, let's let's not get the alarm to trigger. This is really scary as well because these ant vaults normally have um, entropy weavers in them. Uh, so yeah, let's skip this floor for the moment. Um, entropy weaver, alarm vaults, gastronaut sounds a bit of a worry. I'm gonna say let's come back when we're over 100 hit points, and then we can't be too short. Shields go to four, that's nice. Um, I'm tabbing into the crocodile, which is, I don't know, I've, I've not learnt my lesson. I've told you all a bunch of times, don't tab into the unknown. I keep doing it, but you shouldn't. Um, here's a B vault. Uh, no, we can fight a B vault. We don't have our poison, but we have a lot of lignification potions. That's a bump. There you go. Speak of the devil and he doth appear. There's a poison resistance ring. One, two, three, four, five rings on Kobe now. Alright, uh, let's back up. Uh, we got the our poison. So we should be okay against this. 
I say that. No, we're okay. Okay. As long as we don't meet the queen, because the queen has the ability to berserk all the other bees, um, and that's when they become really scary. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, the spiny frog. Um, we have our poison against him now, but he still hurts. I'm still gonna go berserk. Uh, it's like, do you really want to wield the hand crossbow while you're berserk? Yeah, I just wanted to rest. That's fine. I'm, I'm surprised that we managed to hit the bee even once with the hand crossbow. Um, there's 12 for evocations. We can leave that for the moment. There's an Oclo plant. Um, well, we... Oh, another 10 paralysis charges. That's amazing. Um, I didn't say anything, but we got Swamp for our um, second rune. So we've got Spider and Swamp. Um, is that a new bee vault? Oh, it's some sort of vault where you got Honeycomb and then Oclobs in the middle? I'm not familiar with this one. Um, there's a nice little choke point here that we can get in, so then we only have to fight one enemy at a time. And then eventually we'll get back around, but we, sh we should be able to cheese the Oculo pretty easily with our hand crossbow. We can just shoot him from range. Wow, that guy did not want to go down. Uh, there's a large shield. We talked about that in the first episode. Because we're a kobold, we're too small to use a large shield. Uh, you can use a regular shield, but you have to train 20 skill for it. That is a manticore. Um, apparently the plant is blocking my way. That's really dangerous. Um, they hit for 26 and claw twice for 14. There's a lot of damage. Um, they don't have a huge magic resistance, so we have a 60% chance to paralyze it. I think that's what I do. Nice. We can walk up and just stab it. We don't have any stealth skill. But we have uh, short blades, and your stab damage is a combination of the two of those, so we can still stab decently well even with no stealth. Right, um, well, let's only see one Oculo at a time. I'm targeting the exact tile, uh, let me not die. That's uh, real stupid of me. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking more about the macro I'm using to explain it than um, whether or not we're surviving. Yeah, that was that was a bit dumb. Okay, uh, let's try again. Okay, let's not press it so much that we just randomly die. Oh, I just realized we're shooting at 1.1, so there's even more danger in that. The Oclob could shoot us twice in one of our shots. So that was actually way more dangerous than I was... Way, way, way more dangerous than I was treating that. Okay, yeah, sweet. Troll gave us 20 more bolts. Let me take this slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if we got shot twice there, we would we could have died. Alright, I gotta take that real slowly. Oh, suddenly melee eye. Um... We should ice blast that. Okay, good. Um, and again, they're really fast. Um, and they smite you. So, oh, there's another one. He hasn't seen us though. Um, so they need to die really quickly. There it is again. Um, let's hide. There's a queen bee. Um, I'm going to Trog's hand. Okay, um, I sort of don't want to berserk the death yet because I don't know if the melee eye is just walking around somewhere. Uh, and if he hits us for a lot of damage, I'll just walk away. He's only a 10 speed monster, so he's not going to chase us down. And if he's poisoned enough, which he was, he might just die. Melee eye again has seen us now. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I should check though. Um, so the melee eye um, tile doesn't show you what weapon they're wielding. They always have axes, but there's a very big difference between it wielding a hand axe and it wielding a broad axe. 
Okay, they're susceptible to poison like bees though, so if you have a venom weapon, oh no, manticore again. Um, and we're slowed. Let's try to paralyze it. Okay. Thankfully, we killed it. Uh, we're slow and minus berserk against the melee eye. Um, 75% chance to paralyze it. Yep, so that's, let's we'll take it out. Okay, there are usually three melee eyes in B Vault, so we fought three now, that should probably be it. Elephants. <laughs> Had enough of elephants. Alright, what have we done? Fighting to 13, crossbows to 9, almost at 10, which is Mindalay. Shields to 5. Okay. So I feel like um, evocations and armor training might not be too far in the future. Okay, let me do this slowly. Yeah. One more. There we go. Okay, we've got the Okla plant, but we can't get to this stuff, or can we? Oh, we can. Sweet. We got our bolts back. Some more slings, a resistance potion, which is identified for us because of the, uh, what's going to call it? Um, that vault that we saw earlier. Uh, this limb is quite scary. It does up to, uh, let me check. Last beam. Fire Breath does 3d18, so 54 damage. Um, 54 fire damage, and we don't have any fire resistance. That is scary. So, can we just... I don't want to use my Ice Boss, we've only got 4. What if we just Polymorph him? We don't really... Yeah, there we go, that's better. We made a glowing orange brain. Is it better? No, it's potentially worse, because it's going to do this. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I berserked against the orange brain, which has blink. That was stupid. Okay. Well, we didn't get punished, but that was a bad that was a bad decision. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we didn't need to paralyze the linen worm. We just need to need to make it something that was not threatening. Or not as threatening. Alright, on we go. So to left five. Um yeah, no, we're not not ready for Gastronok yet. Hey, helmet. Cool. Uh, gives us one extra AC. There's an Invis potion. Again, not useful against Gastronok. He sees Invis. Uh, a polar bear. That's eh, fine. If you go berserk, I can go berserk too. Okay, I can go berserk too. We can out angry each other. I'm starving. We have to eat our first ration of the game. Um, arguably, I should have eaten because I, I, I berserked and I got the starving status. Um, so I should have eaten because when you're starving, you have an. Um, a malice to your attacks, so you're more likely to miss. Um, that was my bad. Do you have anything to ID? No. Yeah, here's a Hydra. Um, we have six Scattershot ones. They should just be able to kill it. Why don't I shoot a couple of flame as it approaches? And then when it gets close, which is probably now, we'll just scatter shot it. Cool. Uh, scatter shots are really powerful against Hydras because uh, they have basically no evasion and no AC. Um, and scatter shot, what it does is fire a whole bunch of, um, I was going to say slugs, but it's not actually a shotgun. Um, it fires a whole bunch of fragments. And each of those fragments can miss and it rolls against AC. So yeah, exceptionally good at killing Hydras. Let's ID the scroll. It's enchant armor. Um, I don't think we want to 
You wouldn't especially want to enchant any of this armor. None of it's uh, magical. Black Mamba. Uh, we have our poison, we should be okay. Especially if we berserk. More Invis potion is really nice. Uh, on to less six. Why do we lose int? What's still our int? Oh, is it the brain? Yeah, it's probably the orange brain. Still one of our int. Chug gives us ammo, some extra bolts. Uh, a wyvern, that's okay. We can fight a wyvern. They're, they're really scary earlier on because they're faster than you, but at this stage we're more than capable. Um, Torpa snail, hey? Uh, let's just run for the stairs. I don't want, the torpor snail slows you. I don't want to mess with that. And I'm going to go to a new downstairs. Uh, a jelly. Okay, so that's probably the entrance to uh, the slime pits. Let's go up and heal. Yeah, you never want to rush back into the game after an injury. You want to make sure you, you've healed up. Especially if it's, uh, you know, if you're really injured, say you try to berserk a whole elephant pack and you, you know, rupture your Achilles, make sure you're, you're fully rested before you return. Yep. Here is our entrance, and it's one of those really good vaults where um, it has these damaging acid bits because the monsters in there are stupid. So like this, you can make them walk on the acid and then just die. It's great. Uh, an ice dragon, huh? Uh, this is a really scary vault, actually. It's going to have torpor snails, tyrant leeches, and uh, hornets. And the hornets can paralyze you even when you have our poison. So I should probably stay away from this for the moment. We can come back in once we've done the rest of the floor. So then at least if we need to teleport out, uh, we can be sure that we're, we're landing in safety or at least more sure of that than if most of the floor is still unexplored. There's 10 for crossbows, that's Mindalay. Uh, what else are we training? Just fighting dodging again. All right, well, I guess I guess we'll we'll do evocations um, back up to 14, I think we we're going to do. And then let's train our armor. We'll take that to 8. Uh, and I guess we'll, we'll focus our dodging. So we'll focus fighting and dodging. Alright, so we're, we're at Mindalay for the crossbow. So we now shoot at 1.0. Um, so we can feel relatively comfortable just shooting monsters. Oh yeah, and we can we can cheese all these guys with the acid. Look at them. Look how dumb these sheep are. All these yaks. Okay, they were they're a bit smarter. No, that one's dumb. <laughs> I'm just as stupid. I press the tab button, and we decide to walk through. <laughs> Great. Um, I should berserk the black mamba. It's scary. Please, and one more enemies. What am I doing? Oh god, the hornets have come out. Um, are we gonna die? Probably not. If I ice blast these enemies here. Ah, oh, okay, the Hornet never came. Alright. Second Berserk, we're alright. The Hornet didn't notice us, fortunately. A Guardian Serpent? Oh god, why is there a Guardian Serpent? Okay, this can blink enemies next to you. And that's a Hornet who can paralyze us. And we're slowed. I think we read a Beer Scroll here. This is scary enough that... 
I need that Hornet to go away. And I feel like we should Trog's Hand here so we have more HP. And then what are we going to do? Well, we can Ice Blast the Hornet if it comes back on its own. Or we can Polymorph it. Okay, that works. The Soldier Ant is way less scary. Um, Guardian Serpent. We're still minus Berserk, so I can't hit it. Um, I can't Berserk it. They have higher magic resistance. Oh, we still have a 41% chance to paralyze it. I think that's worth trying, because these guys have Venom Ball, and we could die to that. Okay, we got it. Thank God. Oh, boy, that was scary. That's a rough layer 6. Now we have spiders? Why is there a red back here? Um, I should definitely have Dagger Venom out though. Why is there a red back? Oh, it's got the, the spider vault in the middle. That's why there's a Guardian Serpent and spiders. Okay, I understand now. Uh, it's one Hornet. It's just on its own. Yep, it's susceptible to poison. So as long as we can get a poison on it, we're okay. S same with the rec red back, it's susceptible. Well, at least the good thing about um, this Lair 6 ending is there's often good loot in it. So we can perhaps look forward to some nice loot. Let me aim the Hornet. And again. Okay. Uh, well, in some ways, so the Guardian Serpent was really scary, but in some ways that actually wasn't too bad. Um, because the Guardian Serpent is usually chilling in the middle of this vault, with uh, wolf spiders and the red backs that we saw, and the other really dangerous ones. Uh, so it, it was sort of wandering around for us, which was not as scary. Oh god, are we gonna we really undo this? Can we polymorph you? Yes, you became a human. That's sad. Okay, the tyrant leeches. Um, are slow on land. So we can very easily kite them with poison. Uh, because they, they hit for a lot, they bite for 35 damage, plus they, they vamp you, they steal your HP. So they're not an enemy that you really want to sit in melee with. The other thing, because they're slow, is we can just walk away from them and just shoot them with a crossbow. There we go. Alright, we got elephants coming. I remember I remember elephants. Wow, can you die? There we go. Oh, I've walked myself into a corner. Don't don't do that, that's stupid. Poison them for a bit. Um, oh, that's a lindworm. Oh, as I say, we have no um, RF. We got hit by one. Um, we should quaff a heal wounds potion so that we we are still in one shot range. Um, we should fear again. Fortunately, we have so many fear scrolls this game. Okay, suddenly lindworm. Let's go back up and heal. This is way out of hand. Uh, we have a million enemies coming at us again. A bunch of which are faster. Um, the wolf spider is gonna take us up. Seventy-six percent paralysis chance, and it became a spark wasp. All right, we need to fear this stuff again. We have our elect, but still, even our elect, you still get hurt by elect enemies. All right. <laughs> oh boy, this is fun. We might not even get to see that good loot that's down here. Okay, let's go to a new stair. I don't want anything to do with that Spark Wasp, if I can help it. Oh, a Magical Shield? Uh, let's stop focusing dodging and turn our shields back on. Um, even if this is just plain, I think I'd still like to have a regular, regular shield. Maybe that's just what we needed. Okay, let's see what it is. It's a plus two shield. Okay, nice. We'll use that. Um, why am I not wearing boots? I don't know. 
We've been missing one AC for this entire time for no reason. Okay, plus two shield, that's nice. We get more shield skill. These black mombas are really difficult. Oh god, please don't run out, run out. Um, we might need to do stuff here. Do I need to do stuff? I don't want to do stuff, but I don't want to die. Um, let's paralyze the spiny frog. Okay, now we're fine. It's a, a good thing we trained all these evocations, hey? Oh, I'm using the dagger flaming. No wonder I'm not killing the stuff. I don't understand. God, I'm losing the plot. Okay, I don't want to run too far because I know there's a spark wasp and a uh, wolf spider running around together. Alright, uh, we got another brand weapon scroll. I wonder if we should... Should we just do our um, hand crossbow again? Because flaming isn't an amazing brand. I mean, it's fine, but if we got um, venom or if we got a lek, it would make our character a lot stronger. Hell, even freezing is better than flaming. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Freezing. Okay, that's that's so stronger. You slow you slow enemies down, like hydras. Okay, we're gonna. Um, Scatter shot this guy again. Good. Uh, it's a plain scimitar. It's two black mambas. No, that's all right. We'll be okay. I maybe should have trogs handed. These are proved to be difficult enough on their own, let alone two at once. But I did it. Trog gives us ammo. Oh god, here they all are again. You know what? Uh, this is crazy enough. Let's just throw out a wand of clouds. We've got fire, that's great. Um, because Linworm is one of those stupid monsters who um, is susceptible to the thing that they do. So they're, they're a fire thing. They look like a small dragon, but they're still susceptible to fire. It's stupid, right? Yeah, it doesn't resist fire. I'm not Sorry, it's not susceptible. It just doesn't resist fire at all. Which is crazy to me. They just everything about them looks like they should have RF. They're red, they're dragony, they breathe fire. No RF. It's like they should burn themselves with their own breath. Alright, so there's there's still a wolf spider walking around. We got the linworm and the spark wasp. Oh, we still haven't we still haven't done the crazy uh, tyrant leech one. <laughs> this was all a bit of a sidetrack. We just said uh, we'll save the we'll save the um, we'll save the other vault until we clear the floor, and then the rest of the floor has been crazy difficult. Uh, that's a brilliance potion. I'm just gonna drop that. Um, we've got nine intelligence, so we're not really in danger of ever becoming brainless, really. And we're never casting spells, so it's just wasting an item slot. Did we pick those up? No, we didn't. Um, let's get our bolts back. We're going to almost die as we do it. Oh god. <laughs> okay, let me not step in there against the hornet. If we got paralyzed in the acid, we'd die for sure. Oops. Okay, Shift X Control E removes the exclusions. 
I think we're ready to go in now. We've cleared the rest of the floor. Yeah, as long as as long as we get these separately, so the torpor snail, the tyrant leeches, the hornet, we should be fine. It's when you get them all together and you're slowed, potentially paralyzed, that's when you're really in trouble in here. Oh boy, we got a um uh, a plain leather armor as our loot in this bit. Uh, and again, we can't easily fight the lindworm. Let's go Trog's hand. I'm just going to berserk it. I think we should be fine if we berserk. As long as we don't get slowed. We didn't. Okay. We should be okay. Oh, okay. Maybe we weren't so okay. <laughs> uh, oh, and a curing potion. There you go. Alright, uh, so we're done. We're done except for this one, which is an ice dragon. Um, we have what? One enchant armor. Okay, I'm gonna say that an ice dragon scales isn't so exciting. Um, so I think we will ignore this guy. Maybe we'll take him on later. Um, and that's gonna be it for this episode. So if you join me in the next one, uh, we have found. We have not found Orc yet. So we're going to be heading to D12, that's where our Orcish Mines entrance is, presumably. Clearing that floor and then heading into Orc. See you then.